Hey guys, so in this lecture we will understand what are multicast delegates. Now multicast delegates is a very important concept if you are uh, trying to learn the concept of events in C Sharp. So multicast delegates forms the base of events and then we implement events over multicast delegates. So in this lecture we will understand what are multicast delegates and I will explain you events in my later video session. So let's quickly jump into our slides. So all delegate instances have multicast capability that is all delegates can point to more than one method and this is achieved with the help of plus and plus equals operators. So in my previous lecture or you can say the lecture before that in which I have explained you the concept of delegates I was pointing to a square function okay. Now say it's, there is a scenario where I have a cuber function too which gives me a cube of a number. So I can use a single delegate instance to point to both of these methods and this is done with the help of this syntax this syntax right here my delegate d so i am creating the instance of this my delegate and i am pointing it to my method and then i will i am using the same instance d and i am pointing it to my method 2 and this is the plus equals operator which is used to give me the multicast capability of delegates this operator is using uh, is used to point to more than one method so the last line is equivalent to d equals d plus my method 2 so what's stored in this d it's my method 1 so it's basically my method 1 and my method 2 now if i will invoke d then it will call both my method 1 and my method 2 let's jump to visual studio and let's try to implement this so here i have square function which is uh, this transformer t is pointing to this square function which is defined in here okay and similarly i have a cuber function too okay so i can always do like this t plus equals cuber so my delegate instance t is pointing to now both square and cuber functions okay so if i was invoking square function so my result was the square of a number similarly if now i am invoking both square and cuber the result should be obviously the square of a number and cube of a number let's try to run this and see if actually this happens so let me get 10 the result should be 100 and 1000 right and you can see the result is just 1000 so why is this happening why i am not getting 100 that's because square is added first to, the, uh, to this t delegate instance and then we are adding cuber okay and you can see both of the written types are integer data types so what happens this square returns a value and then this cuber returns a value so the value of square is discarded so by default which, which, whichever is the last function which is added to multicast delegates that's return value is accepted other written values are discarded so we will see this scenario in a moment let's first try to see in the order which they are added these functions are added to this delegate instance so let's move back to our slides first and you can see delegates are always invoked in the order they are added so i am adding first a square function then i am adding cuber functions and by default it's it's taking cuber as the last functions to be added so it's in it's giving me the value of cuber let's try to change this and make it cuber here and let's try to change this and make it square okay so now what should be the result that result should be 100 let's try to enter 10 the result should be 100 and you can see it gives me square so now what this square function is doing it's discarding the value of cuber which is stored in t okay we have covered these two points a delegate instance can point to more than one methods which is called multicasting of functions okay and we have also seen that functions are invoked in the order in which they are added now let's come back to our problem the discarding of values so let's make it back to cuber okay so this is our problem we don't need to discard the value of square by calling cuba so basically what's the solution of this problem the solution is the problem is that the delegate should 
uh, if you are using multicast capability the delegate return type should always be void let's try to change this to void and similarly let me change this to void that's because the signature should match of delegates and the functions okay and let me simply write here console dot write line just uh, prints the output to the console x into x similarly i can do it in here so let me so now these is square and cuber functions have a void return type and it's uh, printing the result onto the console it's not returning anything so since it's not returning anything this uh, line of code will not return anything and so i will not need this variable okay i just need to invoke this t and since i am not storing anything in the j variable so i can get rid of this line okay hope this is clear this very simple code let's try to run this now and see if what if i enter 10 you can see it gives me 100 and 1000 both so my single delegate instance is pointing to both square and the cuber method and it's returning perfectly so let's let me play it again let me enter 20 it, it gives me 408000 so what have we learned in this demo is a delegate instance can point to more than one method that is it is called multicast delegate okay the return type of multicast delegate should always be void it should not return anything otherwise the previous values will be discarded by the last invoked function okay and the functions are invoked in the order in which they are added so let's move to the slides and i have summed all all of these points in the slides so you can see delegates are invoked in the order they are added now generally multicast delegate should have a void return type the reason for this is caller receives the return value from the last method to be invoked and the preceding methods are still called but their return values are discarded similarly these methods can be removed for invocation list by using minus and minus equals operators so let's try to implement this also so i have both square and cuber functions added to the invoca invocation list so the list of methods to which a delegate is pointing is called invocation list okay so now let me remove this cuber method from the invocation list by using minus equals sign okay so i have added cuber in here and i have removed the cuber let's try to run this now let's enter 10 it gives me 100 that's because cuber is been removed let's try to remove square let's try to run this again let me enter 10 it gives me cube of a number so this is square is removed okay so similarly this this uh, from this invocation list you can also remove the functions you can add functions and you can remove the functions okay let's move back to our slides and here are here are the points for you to note it down so thank you so much guys for listening if you have any doubt please leave a comment below and please do like share and subscribe happy learning and keep rocking